Um, our group has, for many years now, well, probably actually over a, a decade to date myself, have been very interested in looking at strategies whereby we can use a vaccine to stimulate a patient's immune system in order to help fight the disease. And we've largely been looking at it to fight recurrence. And one thing that uh, we've been very interested in for a long time is to, instead of using it just in that secondary prevention setting, move it back to primary prevention. So use vaccines, what most people know vaccines are used for, prevent, in this case, cancer, much like they would prevent infectious disease. So one of the things that we're presenting here to, uh, at the San Antonio meeting is during the trials in progress poster session, and it's a trial looking at the vaccine for patients with ductal carcinoma in site two. And so as we all know, this is stage zero breast cancer, so very early stage disease, where we actually believe the vaccine may have significant effect because there's not as much uh, heterogeneity, perhaps not as much genomic instability. And then this is a trial that the patients will be getting the vaccine at the time of diagnosis. They'll get three inoculations and then they'll go to surgery. And this will be an important study for us because we're gonna be able to look at the surgical specimens to see how many of these T cells, immune cells we bring in. And so we think this is an important trial for two reasons. One, that step that I was alluding to moving back towards primary prevention, but also to look at the ability of the vaccine to stimulate that T cell response in the tumor with the next thought in our development plan of potentially putting our vaccines with some of these novel immunotherapeutic agents that are targeting checkpoint blockade molecules.